The GOP ticket is holding events in battleground states this week during the DNC. Today, former President Trump is discussing crime and justice in Michigan. Meanwhile, running mate J.D. Vance is making his remarks in Wisconsin. Olivia Nakalmes picks up our team coverage from Kenosha. Battleground states like Wisconsin would be can't this November. Kamala Harris made an appearance at the DNC last night before President Biden's speech. And today the GOP ticket is splitting up to campaign with Donald Trump heading to Michigan and vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance coming back to Wisconsin for the third week in a row. The Trump Vance campaign message today is make America safe again. Monday was about wealth in America. The rest of the week will be about making America strong, secure and lastly great again on Friday. Vance spoke here in Kenosha about crime, saying a Trump administration will end sanctuary cities, deport illegal immigrants, and implement the death penalty for drug dealers. This week, a Harris campaign spokesperson said the vice president has a strong safety record and, quote, has never been scared to take on crime to keep communities safe. Vance criticized the DNC's decision to hold their convention in Chicago, saying it's unsafe because of Democratic leadership. It's almost a joke to me that they held it in Chicago, which has become the murder capital of the United States of America, thanks to very failed Democrat leadership. That is something that we would not accept in a third world country, much less in one of our beautiful, great American cities like Chicago. A recent poll of Wisconsin voters shows Kamala Harris leading Trump by four points within the margin of error. Wisconsin has been close in the last two presidential elections, with Trump winning in 2016, but Biden in 2020. Tonight, Vice President Harris and the running mate Tim Yaz will step away from the convention to head to Milwaukee to state. Kenosha, Wisconsin, Olivia McCallum, Fox 32, Chicago.